quarto. É filho um beijo. Dear friends, welcome to Godlywood Studio once again and to Light of Knowledge. We have been looking into the details of Godly Knowledge and we were trying to see how far Godly Knowledge clarifies the confusion as to those age-old questions which has been confusing our mind. We have discussed about the soul, we have discussed about the karma philosophy and we were discussing of late about God. Today also we will continue the discussion on God and to take us through the discussion as usual we have Ruba Benji with us. Benji, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Today we will continue with God. We have seen that God and myself are one. This is just a concept but it is not a reality. If it had been a reality we would always feel peaceful. We saw all these details. Many people say Prakriti itself is God. How far is it true? As we have come to the understanding that God is incorporeal, mm. invisible, yet He is existing. Mm. And the existence of God is understood by many people in many ways. Mm. Because unless and until I see Him and I experience His presence and also communicate with Him, I cannot come to the conclusion that this is the form of God. Mm. So, what happens in this world cycle as we move towards the time of darkness which begins from Dwapa Yuga, mm. let us say 2500 years, 500 years back, we all search God in one or the other way. Mm. Okay, People adopt some rituals in order to go near to Him, contact Him. And people who are intellectuals, they search in different way. Mm. Then finally, we observe this creation. Mm. And when creation, the universe filled with power of nature and it is so beautifully in order, working mm. in its own way. And when we see the beauty of nature, we come to some kind of understanding Okay, God is there, but mm. why not we believe this beauty itself is God because God has created this mm. world. So, that is the feeling, but otherwise it is like um, comparison. If nature is so beautiful, then God, the creator of this nature is more beautiful. Since he is not to be seen through this naked eyes, so let us appreciate this only is God. Mm. But actually, there is... Another definition and also uh, way of praising towards this creation and creator, a pure poet beautifully narrates in, who, in his own words that when the nature is having such a beautiful uh, existence, then how beautiful will be the creator. Mm. That means creator is existing, not the nature itself is God, but we are comparing his power and excellency and his beauty mm. which is unexpressible mm. and therefore we have come to the conclusion that let us appreciate this only mm. as God. So, uh, I think these are all theories which human beings has created because the right knowledge was not there. And one more thing here, whenever people get disturbance, mm. they start moving near to the nature. Mm. Allowing them to go very closer, like uh, going and sitting near seashore mm. or going and sitting in a beautiful garden or somewhere near the mountain ranges. What happens is when they allow themselves to appreciate and see that beauty of the nature, all the turmoils of in their mind mm. just releases and in return something which they are receiving also heals their mind to mm. some extent. Mm. And therefore, it is also a kind of feelings of some people, they say nature also heals us. Mm. And nature is having the quality of giving, right, unconditionally. Mm. And therefore, when we are disturbed and when we go near to the nature and allow ourselves to get rid of all the tensions or any kind of negativities, then to some extent people feel peaceful. Mm. And this is also one of the reason some believe 
that nature itself is God. Benji, so as I understand it, these are all concepts uh, which we have made for ourselves to feel peace of mind. As you said, nature actually gives, at least in a limited sense, this kind of peace of mind to people. So now I come to a very important question which is there in the mind of everyone, whether actually God comes to the human world or not. And you were uh, mentioning at it that God comes only once. Yeah. For anyone who have read the scriptures, it, it is a little bit difficult to understand because we have avatars. Yeah. And every now and then when there is a problem, God comes, intervenes and does something and go back again. And you say he comes only once. How can we clarify the difference? See, whenever we see somebody with some elevated qualities, mm. we immediately try to compare that person or personalities with God because godly qualities mm. somewhere we see to some extent mm. why not in nature or in man we think that itself is like allowing us to go little bit near to godly qualities mm. but not God himself mm. for example if somebody is very loveful and doing selfless service to the humanity we compare that person that he is a avatar of God. Mm. He is a person with godly qualities. Mm. Because one particular quality will be in such a maximum expression in his action that people take some benefit out of his presence, out of their actions mm. and therefore we think they are God's avatars. A very important question here is why are some souls or some people so special? They are unlike others in the group, they stand apart with their own special personality. Everyone want to go and meet them, take something from them. Is it a special role or is it that God has designed it that way? What is this? See, as we move from golden and silver age mm. and enter into the age of copper, mm. that is Dwapar Yuga, the deity's kingdom which will be lost at that point mm. and where the divine qualities will be lost. Mm. And slowly we move into the human level, that is mm. human conscious, human mm. level of the qualities we will add on. Here, there will be some uh, irreligious activities slowly entering into the world and people will be influenced by the vicious cycle, mm. though they do not know what is wise at that time, yet the activities Feelings will be vicious, that is mm. based on body conscious. Here, some souls from Paramdham, the soul's world, mm. yet they have not entered to the world cycle mm. and having that purity in them, they enter to the world drama stage and they will be full in all qualities. Mm. Let us say purity, love, truthfulness, all these qualities and when they enter, People who are losing mm. these qualities, they get attracted. I see, who are already here. Yes. Mm. And they are now in confused state. Mm. And there will be the evil attacking. So, they are losing their soul power. And to save themselves or even uh, Dwapar Yuga is some way the establishment of religion mm. slowly. So, preachers. Mm. and people of uh, having high qualities, they enter and people get attracted because they will have little light of knowledge. So, do you mean to say that first birth of every human being will be full of qualities, powers and they will attract everyone? In golden age, whoever enters, they will be Satopradhan souls mm. because nature will be 100% pure and only pure souls can enter into that stage mm. of drama. Mm. Even some souls get added in second stage that is silver age. Mm. So, that is also pure world but not purest we can mm. say. And when we come to copper age, so 50 percent of purity is lost. Mm. And here that much quality who are having, they will descend. Mm. And some souls who are having the maximum purity power, mm. they start giving some knowledge to other people who are trying to learn something and they will start guiding people mm. so that they will get support from them and 
uh, immediately do not fall to the deeper level of uh, vicious circle, yet it will work for some time. So, when we come to the iron age that is Kali Yuga mm -hmm. and that we are seeing in this world now, mm -hmm. absolutely there is no even a, a power of thinking mm -hmm. that whether I am doing right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Basically, here another question come to my mind. Even now there are some sp souls who are mm -hmm. very special. Mm -hmm. Uh, who are good at art or sports or something like that. They do not seem to have that confusion in mind or whatsoever. They are moving very smoothly in life. They do not get diseased or uh, they do not have much problem. So, can it be that it is their first birth on this year? Few souls who have to enter only in Kali Yuga, mm -hmm. but they are coming directly from Paramdham right now. Mm -hmm. So, they will not have any vicious influences mm -hmm. and therefore, According to the law of drama, they have to enjoy the first birth at the maximum mm. from wherever they enter. Mm. But their degradation becomes quite fast. Like mm. uh, the soul who enters from golden age, it will pass through silver, copper, iron age mm. and the degradation of the values is very slow and also once they reach to iron age, the degradation of values comparative to golden age, mm. not with the iron age souls. Mm. And therefore, still they will be better souls, those who enter into iron age. Uh, so, Benji, those souls who are already there, who has lost most of their powers, need not get confused looking at these new souls, how well they are living their life, mm. because they have come just now. Yes, and their duration of that joy and 100 percent enjoyment will be very short. Mm. Maybe uh, then we have to go little deeper about uh, the cycle, you see golden, silver, copper, iron, how many births we take that of course, people can take detailed course mm. to understand. There is some duration of the golden age, mm. 1250 years, then mm. the each life will have longer span of life. Mm. So, they enjoy wealth, purity, happiness, peace longer duration. Mm. A soul who enters in Kali Yuga itself, maybe 1000 to 50 years is the age and within this, how many births they can take, few births mm. and even if they are taking rebirths quite fast. So, you mean to say that uh, even though everyone has to take many rebirths, the numbers are quite different. Yes, and therefore, the span of life will be shorter. Mm. and uh, the duration they enjoy will also be shorter. Mm. And uh, the end of the iron age, whether the souls have entered from golden or silver, copper or iron age, almost all souls have lost their the real uh, state of purity. Mm. And that is the time people start searching to regain and they will go to some saints or whoever having little bit, they will get attached. Mm. But finally, the God who has to enter into this world at the end of this iron age because he has to give salvation to everybody. Mm. And that is why we praise him as the Sadgati Data. He gives not only liberation from the vicious cycle, but also he takes us to the golden age once again. Mm. The souls who are worthy for them, he will prepare them here. Mm. And those souls who have come at the end of the Kali Yuga, they like only peace, they want only liberation, they want to go back to the heavenly abode that is Param Dham. So, he will give both that is mm. called Gati Sadgati, liberation and fruition. I think Penji, what you say is quite tangible and reasonable, but still it is really a wonderful knowledge because you mean to say that God comes only at the end of the cycle so that he can revive it fully, even though it holds good reasonably and logically. Still, there are many questions coming to mind and I think we will discuss it further in the coming episodes. Everyone need to take birth and rebirth, but the number of birth are different for different people. Some come in the golden age, they are here for long time and their degeneration takes place in this time period, vast time period. And some souls who come late, they still have that power and they live their life in full, they enjoy, they are successful in everything they are doing. And those who are there for a long time need not get confused 
by looking at them because they have just come and they have just started their role in the world drama. So again, there are many questions in mind. We will discuss it in the coming episodes. As for now, it is time for the question of the day. I am Suren Singh Parihar. I am a teacher and I am also running a, a computer institute. I want to do godly services along with my profession. How can how can find the time with this? He is already uh, running a computer institute and he is a teacher. So very busy schedule and how can he find time for godly service? This question is asked by a person who has will to do godly service, right? Mm. So it is well said where there is will, there is a way. Mm. Time is given 24 hours by God to every individual, though we are living in a busy schedule or easy schedule. Mm. Raj Yoga teaches us how to be busy yet to be easy. Mm. And most beautiful time that we can spend to godly service, early morning they can spend before starting the regular professional work. And service in different ways we can do. Usually they think godly service means we have to come and sit in center and then do service. Mm. It is not like that. It is also possible being in his office, he can serve in many ways. How can you do uh, that? He can impart this knowledge along with computer knowledge because mm. many students he is coming in contact with and it's a beautiful occasion where he is getting an opportunity mm. and he can keep some uh, pamphlets like printed with uh, very good matter based on godly knowledge which mm. will help the youngsters who are uh, mm. coming for mm. learning. That is also one kind of service. Mm, like there are many teachers who include moral values in their classes. Yes, uh, yes. Just like and that. he can make one board in mm. his institute where each day the godly knowledge which we are listening, he can write one or two points as the essence of that day's lesson. Mm. That also helps many people. And uh, those students who are coming for learning computer knowledge, they can be introduced with godly knowledge with 10 minutes every day along with other lessons. So, it is a beautiful profession where he can do side by side both type of service. Mm. So, in our Brahma Kumaris, we have a youth wing and there are many good programs and he can chart out little bit time like say, a person is learning for three months course, four months course. So, definitely student will spend little time. Mm. So, at the end of the course of computer science, he can introduce the youth development programs mm. and he can invite some sisters and they can also come to the institute and share godly knowledge. So, these are various ways and most important uh, service he can do is before starting any classes every day, Two to three minutes he can introduce Raj Yoga meditation mm. which really, really helps the present youth not only to come up in their life in the platform of computer or a professional job and the knowledge that they are taking but they can strengthen their inner self. Youth can be guided because when he is taking care of such a good institution to learn the knowledge only youth are coming. And mm. youth are diverted with many distractions mm. and he can politely in the way they can understand introduce some course, uh, maybe short courses like uh, how to keep themselves positive mm. and also the habit systems and the company which they are dragged towards some mm. um, a way where they are losing their uh, uh, positive way of life. Mm. Uh, there also he can be the guide for them hmm. based on godly knowledge. That is a beautiful suggestion because I have heard that even the government of French Guyana starts every one of their parliament sessions with three minutes Raj Yoga meditation. So why not we introduce it into all institutions. So uh, that has been a beautiful answer. Everyone can find time for godly service because we are all coming contact with someone or other on our day-to-day -day life. So, if we can share those points which we have learned, it will be a great help for everyone because everybody has at least one or other issues. So, now friends, let us move into the last part of the session that is the attitude, virtue and contemplation.
So Benji, what is today's attitude and today's virtue? Today, let us take the attitude of being fearless. Hmm. The word fearless doesn't mean that I can walk on the street at 12 o'clock because I'm fearless. Mm. Fearless in the sense with the support of knowledge which guides me to do accurate actions. Sometimes people get afraid of doing even good things. Mm. Less they are aware that this is for me what I am doing and they are influenced by the fellow beings around and which doesn't allow them to do what they have, that ability. So, I think uh, developing the attitude to be fearless means I should be very confident, clear and what I am doing should be accurate. So, having the support of godly knowledge, a person can live his life fearless because sometimes others actions also create confusion in my mind. And when I am not having clarity in my mind, I get confused and so mm. many good opportunities where I could have done some good deeds, I lose. So, this uh, attitude is I think uh, very helpful mm. and the supportive virtue that we can help ourselves with that virtue is to be easy going. Mm. Let us not take uh, much attention on others activity and going on asking our questions in our mind that why, why, why. So, this also makes me heavy mm. because people cannot uh, go along with me with my intention and my desire and my expectation, my choice because they have their own choice and their own way of doing. Mm. Let them, I allow them to do what they are. But here to keep myself easy going, if I can have the attitude of appreciation, let me appreciate. Hmm. Otherwise, let me not be uh, involved mentally so that I can keep my mind easy hmm. and, and also we free. we keep away from criticism also, I think. Yes, because this. criticism is actually a waste. We, hmm. we are not having responsibility to comment on others actions. Hmm. And while criticizing also, what is the benefit I get, I should think about it if I am a wise person. Hmm. And therefore, Again, criticism makes my mind more heavy. Once I criticize, that negative thought has reached that person and that will disturb him and he will send the back and somebody will be ready to criticize me also. Mm. Because action and reaction goes equal and opposite. When I am criticizing someone here, someone else may be criticizing me somewhere else. He, he will be mm. ready or she will be ready or some situation comes to me mm. where I have to undergo the same. So, why should I create that kind of negative situation mm. for me? Benji, that is really beautiful because criticism is uh, such a disease in our society now that if once we eradicate it, our lives will be really better. It's like digging a pitfall for myself. Mm. So, this awareness is not there. That's why mm. I'm doing that. Mm. I so, think, Benji, we should have a beautiful meditation on this particular value which you told. Let us sit in a comfortable position. Focus yourself in the center of your forehead. And visualize a point of light, the soul, I am the eternal soul having all qualities in myself. As I think of my existence, I am a peaceful soul, knowledgeful soul, blissful soul, loveful soul and these qualities are hidden in myself. I am that. But when I come in the conscious of body and bodily relations, get influenced and forget these qualities which are my true nature. When I see others, 
let me practice this conscious awareness that there are also points of light having these values and qualities in them and this helps me to only appreciate good things in others good qualities in others even others have forgotten that they are souls but my awareness will slowly help others to gain positive energy positive feelings and this spreads in the atmosphere positive energy with this experience and practice i can remain fearless and allow others to be fearless i don't have fear of anybody's criticism or i don't criticize others because i practice to be in my true awareness of soul and see others with those qualities which are in the soul om shanti thanks a lot benji as usual you have taken us through the discussion and now the meditation was so beautiful thanks a lot once again thank you dear friends as usual every day we look at one or other points of godly knowledge and we are trying to see how far it will be helping us to remove our problems and godly knowledge is such that we need to give a little bit of time for regular study at least half an hour a day will do but regularity brings result and all we want is good result in our life so continue with us in this journey any questions any doubts any suggestions please write to us email us or call us in our number and until we see each other in the next episode it is a goodbye from all of us in the studio